Welcome to the Tangent Show. I'll be your host for today, Fry. I'm joined with uh, Timothy, Abe, Kirk, Carb, and Deshaun. Today we're going to talk about if a tornado can build a car. And then we won't. Welcome to the Tangent Show, everybody. So, uh, Kirk introduced this uh, topic to, to me, to the, to the table, uh, a few minutes before we started recording, just to let it sink in and let us think. And I have, I have my hypothesis. I think that it is 100% plausible for a, tor- for a tornado to build, to build and manufacture a car the same way it's 100% plausible for 100 monkeys at 100 typewriters to write, We Are All Alive, in the exact same second. Yeah. I see what you mean. Like, there's always a similar... possibility. You sit down a monkey at a typewriter, eventually he's going to write some Shakespeare poetry. Even- eventually, gonna he's say. going to write something that's actually legible. Something that's maybe even good. Even. Exactly. When we say tornado, this tornado from Mega Man. No. <laughs> so you could easily build a car. I think tor- I think the Mega Man I think Tornado from Mega Man could definitely build a car. Yeah, I, I think that's kinda <laughs> almost guaranteed actually. We're talking about <laughs> We're talking about like a twister tornado. Like you know that one movie that one nobody in real cares about? World. Like an eight on the Richter scale? Mm-hmm. We're like talking like big wind big wind thing. Yeah. Wind tube. Wind tube. Big swirly windy thing. Big wind flashlight. Sorry? A wind flashlight. <laughs> Tornadoes are just God's flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not an analogy. It's a tangent. Wait, when you guys went to grade 11, what science was all this? What? Good one. A good one. Like, a good one. Guys, pick physics, biology. Fuck physics. Yeah, I physics is for nerds. If you if you're in physics, whoever you calculate physics. the speed at which my nuts hit your mom's. Whoever kid. created Ooh. physics can Sorry. suck the whole kind of a chicken's ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoy thinking about things. Oh, did and you take physics? physics? <laughs> Do you I'm enjoy I, physics? I, 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 I think physics. Was the Cal- calcul- yeah, calculate physics. the speed at which an yeah. egg comes out of a chicken's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you twat. I must. I must say. Oh man, the car uh, is going 50 miles an hour because the meter says it's fucking so hard. <laughs> such difficult. It's almost like this fucking meter. It's almost right like it's literally a fucking speedometer. <laughs> it's it's like there's like you have no purpose. <laughs> Ain't no right there. I paid for the whole speedometer. I'm using the whole speedometer because I have the concept of time. <laughs> By the way, I, a, personally, a, I think quantum physics is infinitely more. Uh, oh, quantum physics is actually epic. Yeah. Regular quantum physics is lame. I, I look Can into quantum physics. Speed. I actively study it for a hobby. Yeah, quantum, quantum physics. You're is, a nerd. Quantum physics I is the, actually. I study slang. the English language. No, dude, dude like dude, the dude, language dude. itself. Okay, Listen, for a hobby. quantum physics okay, is the then shit then. that's gonna get us time travel. Sure. All right. That shit is gonna get us like time, like oh, we're talking time, time travel. travel is a good we're topic. talking teleport. Okay, time travel is fucking awesome. Topic closed. <laughs> okay, no. Time travel is awesome. If I had to pick impossible. between any superpower and time travel, I'd pick time travel. Here's my take on time travel. Even if one of the t- even if one of the superpowers was just to get every bitch ever, <laughs> time travel. Okay. I mean, what if you just had the power to create matter out of nothing? Here's my time take travel. Just here's my, I do that. Here's my yeah, take on time travel. Create matter out of nothing. First. Create okay. matter. Here's my take on time travel. Like, okay. Time travel never has existed and never will exist. And here's why. Because we never, there's never a time traveler coming from somewhere like, Hey guys, check out the sweet Exactly. New we, w- we wouldn't think time travel exists. We would know it. Because we would have people come back and be like, Hey, oh yeah, time travel is a thing. Like, like it could avoid people, a lot you know, of stuff. same way we wouldn't that, th- think it would exist. We would you know think it that you're, If you think that you're about to make a bad decision... If yourself from the future doesn't come back in a time machine to tell you to not make that decision, it can't be that bad. Then why did she leave? Sorry, thanks. Also, theoretically, you will be back. Why I ain't get no bitches? Riddle me this, Batman. Why did she leave? (laughs) (laughs) Riddle me this, Batman. If they don't let like this history take its course, uh, what? Why did she leave me, Batman? Why did she do it? I only answer all of her questions in rhetorical. 
The- theoretically, that's probably why communication is an, is a very important part of an, a relationship. The Riddler, didn't did you know that? <laughs> uh, riddle me this, Batman. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> There is, there is one way that that whole, if they come back and don't fix your mistakes thing, is that we could be on the best possible time. Ooh, big brain. That's true. That Except true. no, because, like, no, we can't be, because no. my personal life is in shambles. Well, this is the best one. Jackson, what if, what if your personal Sorry. life being good starts World War 15? What, what, if what happens to the other 12? What so if I'm happy, <laughs> all, all like, well, see, well, that's just having a good life. <laughs> or the third one, World War 15. Start World War 15. What happens to the other 12? What, the, what, the what happened to World War, thir- uh, World War 3 to 14? That I mean, was, three, that was, that was three is kind of, of already happened. Just kind of. Oh, There's well, only I, two countries right now, but if the third countries. one joins, it's technically it's a world war. It's like a baby war. Well, like, no, no, it's just a normal war. No, that'd, <laughs> be, yeah. a, that'd, be, a, that'd be something like, that's like war all flank. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. No, that I... It won't. Yeah. You want to know something oh, about nuclear? You want to know something about nuclear shit, right? Yeah. Nuclear. Stuff, it's insanely safe, I know. It's insanely safe. It's insanely clean. It's insanely like every, efficient. It's insanely efficient. But every Kim- time anybody thinks, okay, yeah, let's make a nuclear power plant. Ah, uh, Chernobyl. Everybody. Kim- I think about. I think about, about the, Chernobyl itself. What, what about shit? Fukushima? Kim Jong Un wrote this. Hiroshima. Yeah. But yeah, no, not Personally? Hiroshima. Fukushima, the Japanese power plant that you know oh, had yeah, a that, giant leak. That, that happened. That, that, that also caused like all the fish in the nearby yeah, sea to grow to unproportional sizes and then spread sickness. And that's what happened. To, and that's when. Uh, that's Is what that, happened to Australia. Wasn't that the plot? <laughs> wasn't that the plot of The Simpsons? Wasn't that was the plot of The Simpsons <laughs> movie. No, that leak no, and the okay. no, fish grew. That, that, no, that's how. Um, that's how Australia got all no, the animals. No, but like the thing that happened in Fukushima was like you know wolffish, right? You've heard of those? Yeah. So basically, wolffish is this big, right? Uh huh. But after Fukushima, wolffish that were born grew this big. Table length. Okay. Yeah. Oh, true. Ever seen a yummy. Mosquito? No, they were very yummy, radioactive. Yummy. You were that's called a vampire. <laughs> they were delicious, but you, you would be mosquitoes. That's that called a, a vampire. fully fledged they were, vampire. They were the size of a Japanese person's fist. Jesus Christ. That's horrifying. That's slightly oh. smaller. Why specifically? No, it's just like it's just like Fallout, like guy. <laughs> this big. It's just like mosquitoes follow. the size of your fist. It's just like Fallout, guys. This is so <laughs> rad. <laughs> so. Isn't it, wait, but imagine how much malaria per. Per second, we can get out of that. My uh, opinion on my opinion on nuclear, yeah, you like, physics nerds, flower. calculate the rate at which malaria spreads. I mean, the problem with, with <laughs> I don't think that's a physics question. The problem with radiation is that it's like no, it's like, like a, a long senseless. term benefit. It's like yeah, what getting malaria? Sh- no, no, no. <laughs> yes. No, like say say you drop, getting any disease is like a long term benefit. Say you drop like a really bunch of babies. bunch of nuclear bombs somewhere. Cool. Yeah, yeah, the land's gonna be decimated and highly radioactive. But in like seventy years time. It'll be one of the most prolifically, you know, healthy areas on Earth because of all the stuff that grows. I mean, think about it. There's so a, there's the, a bunch of plastic on Earth right now, but in like a thousand years' time, it'll go away. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> like, like that plastic That's is true. always going to be doing damage, whereas the nuclear radiation will actually do good things for the environment the longer it's there. This is Jackson, by the way. I don't know if I introduced him, but Jackson's here. New guest, <laughs> guest Ge- guys, guest star. first guys. Yeah. Okay, so, so my conclusion for everything you just said: <laughs> nuke the world, get rid of plastic. <laughs> True. Well, no, no, no. Plastic's bad. We can't get rid of plastic. Fun fact: there's actually uh, uh, just as much plastic as there are fish in the ocean. Yeah. The fish population globally has decreased seventy percent and is still on a rapid decline. I wanted this, to express this may my affect opinions. the trout population. I wanted to this express. Oh no, actually no, just <laughs> <it's just, laughs> trout. Trout's are fine. They'll, they'll, yeah, no, the trout are fine. Luckily, That's the trout <laughs> <the trout's laughs> population. I want. I wanted to express my opinions like, on the, the existence of nuclear power. I mean, you sure. Plastic, You're still doing it. How could how could people think thorium? Like how could people think about Chernobyl still there? Thorium literally fucking exists. <laughs> thorium? What's thorium? Thorium is it's like thorium. It's like a. It's an element. It's like it came from Asgard. Say like a gram of it, right? Okay. That has the same potential power as like a hundred grams of okay. fucking what uranium? Jesus like, Christ! Yeah, and it, yeah, it does. It, the only thing, the only drawback is that it needs a kick. 
from uh, our I'm good friend late. Plutonium. Nine minutes late. We only need like a gram of that to a hundred grams of a thorium, but we can like here you go, and then it's powered. A gram of th so you add like a, a little bit of plutonium to a gram of thorium, <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> yeah, like, that could power and the whole last the thing. city. Yeah, when but, when it starts malfunctioning and shit, it doesn't explode. It just kind of fizzles out. We're talking about energy. Yeah. yeah. Isn't thorium like super like a sparkler? I don't need to uh, no, this guy. It's but, way but more but common than uranium. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the and, and here's the thing: you don't need you don't need a special process to be able to extract it from the earth. You can just take it and put it in a plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's just like dum dum dum. Okay, I found a thorium rock. Hey, hand it over here. <laughs> and then, then the guy catches it, and then it's handfuls. No, like, you know, like, when you go to, like, no, you know, when you go to, like, those, um... energy unless you get the kick. Oh, you know, guys, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't yeah. radiate. You can just, uh, hey, I guys, go get some more thorium. You got it, Chief. Got it, Chief. I hope. I hope. No. Get some thorium we go. No, 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 no. Like, you guys, you guys, you guys know, like, um... <laughs> you guys know, like, when you go to... Uh, no, no, like, it reminds me of... Guys, have you ever heard of, like, a lithium battery? It was Duracell. You guys know, um... You know, like, when you go to, um, like, a geology center or whatever like that, and they have, like, those little, uh, stations? Like, you remember when we went for a field trip? And they and like we got to do like the the gold, gold yeah that oh and yeah like, yeah like the pan of gold thing and That's like they were like okay if you gold you can if you find gold <laughs> I had a stroke if you find gold you can keep and we're like all right cool imagine you find thorium <laughs> rock <laughs> <laughs> if you find gold you can keep it no, it's just, what's it's this <laughs> holy shit is that thorium <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, it, tastes, that? it oh tastes like rock. Jared Brown's never given it's catch theoretically the estimated oh, that if nuclear weapons in the wait. U.S. were can I, have, can I have a tater? Batteries, we can power the can I have a tater? entirety of the U.S. Oh. state for over 7,000 years. Can I have a tater? Can I have a tater? Yes. I am, but but why instead, would we do that? But we're using them as weapons. Thank you. Exactly. I mean, if we use them as batteries, we could, like, oh, power you Use your head here, Jackson. Of course we're not going to use all of the nuclear weapons as batteries, because then we don't have any nuclear weapons. But, dude, nobody's, like... Okay, think about it though. But the energy no crisis would be solved. There'd be no problem. Energy we, crisis? We could make, what are you talking we about? We could make. You goober. We could make, nothing wrong with America. We could yeah. make potentially you know what they infinite say. energy sticks in all our future. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. know what they say. Sticks and stones may break my bones. But instead, we use, make it to use. But nuclear warfare can break many more. Guys, can we. That's way more important. Have you guys heard of common sense media? What? No. That's not what we're talking about. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I'm gonna to tell you guys something. That can be tomorrow then. No, 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 no. That can be tomorrow then. Today, is, today's topic is nuclear. No, war. no, and no. Can a, no. I love how he's never here for the original topic. No. Today's topic is nuclear war. We don't have a specific topic. We're called the Tangent Show for a reason. Today's That's fair. original topic was can a tornado build a car? <laughs> yeah, and now we're talking about nuclear war. And the answer I is... I want to talk about... I want to talk about... You know, you know... Whenever, okay, fine. Common I, Sense Media, go. It's like a website where parents, like, rate movies based on age ratings. IMDb. Like, Letterboxd. No, not... It's, it's not IMDb, IMDb or Letterboxd. No, no. It's, it's just IMDb for Christian moms. <laughs> yeah, yes! Oh my God. It's exactly <laughs> that. It is exactly <laughs> that. Wait, I heard of that. Movies. And, it, uh, and, I, and here's one review I screenshot it from the classic Shrek. Oh, Shrek-tastic. No. But my kids started humping everything after watching this. <laughs> Way too sexy. Don't let your youngsters watch it. Demonetized. Age 17 plus. Demonetized. Demonetized, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna get money off of this anyway. He started talking about Shrek and that's Don't tell Susan I said that. It's too sexy. No. It was like, oh my god, do you know who I hate? I hate Bob Chapin. Yeah. I've heard of a race. I've told you. Pretty alright. I've heard of a race. Or the town where I no longer exist. Oh, I thought you said race. I, I, know, I, I thought you were going to say something racism. controversial there for a minute. <laughs> the, the thought I was going to have to start eating the shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's like, uh, fifth grader? That reminds oh, me. Because he goes back in time. Because he has a thing called revival. Okay. Anyways, when he goes back in time, uh, one of the parents ain't raining is that there's a scary scene where a kid slams his fist on the desk. There's no warning for it either. He just slams his fist on his desk and he's really mad and yells at someone. There's no warning. There's Trigger no warning. Mom! <laughs> Trigger oh, warning. Mom. So, you, so you need to tell, so you need to tell me <laughs> that in a show about a kid who goes back in time and like kills people like that, like he tries to stop murder. 
Oh, he tries to stop murderers. Like okay. John Wayne. So this guy, he goes back in time to stop murderers. I don't think he stopped them. He's clown, he's and cloudly powers. this guy slams on a table and yells, <laughs> and that's what damns the whole show. Yeah. Not the fact that the, no, that there's no, a kid can, stopping grown serial killers. I can't handle yeah. the I mean, that's a moral it's a moral dilemma, to be sure. Are you? And what is it with Paul? And he was really smart to the murderer. It was like wintertime would spray water on them to stop Rick and Mortis to make it seem like they were murdered way before the weather. Jesus. Why does it sound like you said, oh, you sprayed to stop Rick and Morty? And I was very confused for a second. I was very confused for a second. He sprayed water on the dead bodies to stop. Brick this tangentially <laughs> relates to two things previously brought up: the movie and the Batman. Was the Batman movie any good? I haven't seen it yet. I was going to go see it. Dark Knight is really good. Dark Knight is so good that I taped it on the VHS. The I'm that good. Is that good? The Batman is the best. The Batman, Batman 2020. It is. Batman. That's the one with the new Riddler, right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that one yet. I really want to. Well, the Riddler. The, the, listen. The Riddler. Yeah, the Riddler. <laughs> the Riddler. The Riddler was like my favorite Batman villain of all time because he, he, just, he just wore green spandex and, and was like. Yes, Batman. And then he he is nuts in your mouth. <laughs> I'm out. And then he put a bag on his head. And he put a bag on his head. Exactly. <laughs> it was so, like the Riddler was such a good character, but it was like, no, guys, guys, the Joker. He's a clown. The he's a, he's a, the Goger. He's a scary clown. The Goger. The Goger. He's a scary clown. I mean, in all clown. defense, in all defense. Yeah. Joker's a better villain and character, but the Riddler's funny. He, he was, the well, Riddler, the Riddler was like, like funnier character. Exactly. That's the thing. That's the thing about DC is that DC used to have a lot of really gimmicky, funny villains, and now they're get, like getting rewritten as like edgy. Like, okay, there was a there was a DC villain once. His name was Asbestos Man. <laughs> His name was Asbestos Man. Yeah. And he used to light build. He he wore an asbestos suit. And he light and he lit buildings on fire. That's oh. what he did. So he's and an since asbestos was like fire retardant, he would just wear asbestos suits <laughs> so and light mean. buildings on fire. So he's me. So so what he did? <laughs> what he did? What happened after when they? It was like it was something about they couldn't make like too. They couldn't like they couldn't make comics too scary because they were selling it to children. That was so for a guy. Who wore an asbestos suit and lit buildings on fire? Batman would just stop him. That would be the end of the day. Uh, when that thing got taken down, the whole thing was like, "Oh, you can't make your building scary anymore." He got rewritten, where he got cancer from the asbestos and died because they didn't know that <laughs> they because, they, because they didn't know because they didn't know that asbestos could give you cancer when he was originally written. Oh my god! Uh, yes. Guys, what a development! Batman had an arch nemesis, and you want to know what his name was? What? Shadow. No. It was the bad Samaritan. <laughs> bad Samaritan. Oh my god. Oh, god. The bad Samaritan. The bad Samaritan. Does he wear, does he wear Crocs or something? He was just something? a normal guy. He was just a bad Samaritan. Does he like wear sandals? He was a, he, or no, he was just a normal guy. But whenever he, like there was a chance to help someone, he did the exact opposite. No, he's like, he's like, so it's like he, he, and it's so just ah oh, man. Oh man, my, my shoe! I gotta 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 bend bend over tie my shoe. <laughs> Get out of the way, nerd! And then he shove him into the into the into the, into the road. Gotta bend or over to yeah. He's just tie like my a, shoe. He's just Frank like him, John. Frank him, John. <laughs> he's just like a middle aged alcoholic, <laughs> divorced father of like seven. Oh my god. He's just a middle-aged alcoholic, <laughs> divorced father, oh named like Michael. Random, so yeah, Common Sense Media is pretty much the IMDb Paris Guide, but for like, I don't know, Christian moms who can't handle Disney. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in this one, it's not mild, first of all. Oh, is it mild? I, I don't know what this show is. All Jesus I know Christ. is it's a race. Pretty big claim. Yeah. It's also, yeah. so is my face. Is severe, but then actually, no. William Defoe played a better. I think William Defoe played, played, played a better goblin. Will Defoe played Jesus one time. What? Okay. William Defoe played Jesus one time. Yeah. Okay. What did you call him? Yeah. William Defoe. What did you call him? William Defoe. I love Martin Willem. Scorsese. It's Willem. Yeah, it's Willem. Willem Dafoe. Oh, really? There's no, yeah. It's not William. Really? Hey, yeah, it's Willem. Yeah, it is Willem. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Willem. not William. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. Yeah, I was gonna Holy correct shit. you, but I didn't yeah. want to have I didn't know yet. that. Yeah. I, I, was I didn't say, know that. I was gonna say <laughs> you're, Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Performance in the film was excellent, man. 
Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> now, a Vietnam War movie. Oh, wait. You know how much I sacrifice Batman? Tell me that. I hereby declare this uh, <laughs> this office weed sesh a success. That's something That's something that I have to ask. Do like, all of you like secretly get high before what? you watch the show? Because No. How do you come up with the concept See, of really? how does a tornado make a car? Hard. I found it on Reddit, yeah. I think. No, Who came up with that? I think somebody made a typo and then it made the best. Best question of all time. Right. Yeah, what would have been the title? Uh, uh, they put something in reverse now, order. I guess. Yes. 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 I don't know. I think they got mixed up and then they made the best. What things. is it with what is it with helicopter parents? Being like, oh, it's too violent. Meanwhile, they're meanwhile they're watching like I don't know the Cash of the Christ. And they're like, oh yes, perfect for children. <laughs> Well, like, that's my question. Because well, like, there's, there's problems. Like people have problems with fucking uh, yes. violence. Watch yeah, it. half the people who complain about How we not it where a man nailed to a cross. Bad. Yeah, and say that it's like religiously okay to like, oh yeah, you see this? Yeah, it's like, like that's so weird. That's so weird. It's you just like, this, you know what? I don't, I don't like, I don't like all recent media. It's all violence. It's all violence and stuff. And they're wearing like they're wearing like they're wearing like it's violence. It's literally and then they're wearing like a Jesus necklace. And it's 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 a green necklace. Yeah, it's a green necklace. Yeah, it's it's a green necklace. Yeah, it's a green necklace. Yeah, it's a green necklace. Yeah, it's a it's a green necklace. Yeah, 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 it's a Christians for some reason? I say no, yeah. like, okay, here's the thing. When it comes to fucking conservatives, when it comes to, <laughs> fucking conservatives, hate them all. Fucking, fucking liberals. liberals, hate them all. <laughs> liberals, I hate everyone. <laughs> Nothing more American. Now, no, 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 you must not be a liberal. Optimist, I saved you from the racist. Now you have to stop being a liberal and join the conservatives. This is the I love the best. He looks like you're the No way. He just looks like he just. They were progressive in the new one. He's black. Oh, he's. What? What's the difference? Um, they say that like like <laughs> more the black they were, they were prog- don't worry guys don't worry guys they're progressive and they made the villain a black guy <laughs> that totally doesn't sound problematic. Oh, that's what happened in Batman. <laughs> we're, talking about Batman. we're trying to we're trying to be more progressive so let's make the villain a black guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, totally as long as a That's a that great. Like, that sounds like a great movie. idea, Rob. You should oh, get a yeah. promotion. I, I watched a movie a few weeks ago. It was Django. That was a really good movie. Django and Django. Django. Batman doesn't wear Django. Django's got a movie adaptation. Wait. I love Django. <laughs> No, oh, it's Django, Django, like, I know did Django on, you know, did oh, is that that? Yeah, yeah. Django. Oh, is, that that, is that that Quentin Tarantino movie? Yes. The yes. show about Django. Django. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's Django, but I love saying Django. Because it's cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. IMDb does it's funny. Video games now. Really? Ain't no way. Oh yeah, parents, they have they parents, have for a while. Parents reviews the movie. Alex eat the game. <laughs> you mean Yeek? It's literally a game. What, it's what literally are, what a game are movies that you like? On ironically, and it's the best game of all time. Like, look up, like the parental guide. Oh, God. You know, I have a good question. The parental, parental guide. Parental guide for you. Uh, like, don't play it, children. I want to see what the parental guide for, like, r horror movies are like. They're like, oh, yeah, a guy gets killed, but hey, there's no sex in it. Did so. you know there's a video yeah, game about Noah's Ark? There's a video game about Noah's Ark? Mm-hmm. Did somebody call the Ark of Noah or something? Somebody, no. Has anybody sp- sp- speed run? <laughs> speed run? Speed run? Speed run? It's past tense of speed run. It's actually speed run. It's not even more Speed run. Guys, <laughs> you haven't, you haven't, you aren't a true gamer Bro. until you played the Bible game for the old Xbox. Like well, here's here's, game. here's, here's how the game worked. Right? So basically, it was called game. Noah's so Ark. Nice. And basically, the concept Xbox, was you're on a timer, game. and what you have to do is you have to name every animal that's on screen oh, in like okay. under Billy, 20 minutes, Billy, and if Billy, you don't, and you I don't know. all the animals die. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what console is this game, game on? Have, that's no. like it was on, that's it was the, on whole the NES. Game. That's the whole game. Yeah. Can I get there, was also, there was also a arcade game about uh, Noah's Ark. I'm fighting the wrongs. Like, Name them all, Richard. Like it was an arcade game. It's one of like it was like one of the newer, older, you know. Between Pac-Man before, like... So before the 1983 game crashed. Uh-huh. Thing. But basically, what the game was about, it was about you 
killing every animal that wasn't on Noah's Ark. Ah, uh, what? That's what? awesome. <laughs> that was the whole game. Wait, I okay, want to play wait. that. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> so it basically <laughs> played exactly like Doom, but instead of killing demons, you were just killing animals. Wait, Jesus, Doom! I think Bro, that is. I the think I actually game know what you're talking about. I know. I think it's like accurate. I think I actually know what you're talking about. What's it called again? I I don't. Re it, it, I remember the first one. Wait, wait, wait! wait. I know that one. It's a. Uh, it was the adaptation for Wolfenstein. Yeah, yes, it was. Oh Wolf my god. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was grand. It was, it it was, was hilarious. It was the, I think, the first first person shooter, period. Yeah. <laughs> it was like horrible <laughs> graphics. It, it's, it's the thing that inspired the it combat the, system. It wasn't the first yeah. person shooter. It didn't inspire shooter, but it was the, the first open the world 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 First person shooter. You want, actually, you want to know something that I find really funny? I find it really funny that most of the, most early gaming shit is just like I know that uh, when it's when it's just like uh, I know like the whole thing about coding when it's like oh yeah you know you know you're a good coder when you just up and steal from other people yeah me too yeah <laughs> that it, it's so blatantly obvious in the earlier years of making games that it's actually funny because Wolfenstein was the first was the first first person shooter which was then pretty much directly copied and then <laughs> Super 3D Noah's Ark. It's Super 3D's Noah's Ark. Yeah. And that's it. I looked up Christian Wolfenstein. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wait. Wait. Someone get an emulator no and way. speed run it. I can Noah's do that. Ark Ain't no way. way. Yeah, Perfect. the, uh, the code was no way. Ta taken Super directly. Noah's Ark. I think, oh my god. I think it was either taken <laughs> oh from my god. or 69% liked this video game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bro, check out the Metacritic. 420 reviews. Go on Metacritic, see what they feel like. So yeah. How did Christian Wolfenstein actually bring uh, something Because up? they took the code from Wolfenstein and made it into that. I yeah. know, but either Christian that or Wolfenstein took the code from that and made it Wolfenstein. Okay, just I'm, I'm kind of just thinking about instead of Nazis, and Wolfenstein is just Christians. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Except oh. it was animals, not Christians. No, I'm, I'm thinking like no, full that's on the, Christians. That's the, that's the, no, Nazis were like, yeah. super Christian. Do you know what's funny? No, they like were, full, yeah. like really religious Christians. They were mega Christians. You, know, you know Christian <laughs> myth, right? Do you know what's really funny? No, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Noah and like Moses and like all of like these famous biblical figures canonically in, in biblical history end up in hell because they were born before Jesus. Wait a minute. Yeah, that, no, like that, legitimately, right. like 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 Noah, this guy who did this great service for God, actually goes to hell just because he was born. He doesn't Jesus. go to like the depths of hell. He goes to like limbo. Nah, he doesn't. Yeah. He goes to like ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So does it's so does Moses. Slightly, it's slightly and, more depressing. And then when Earth. Jesus came, he was like, "Whoops, sorry about that." <laughs> Literally, all good people that did were they born even get redeemed Jesus after? Were they, were they sent to heaven after well, like, Jesus that's the, died? That's the concept. After Jesus dies. He apparently goes down and takes everyone who was a good person before he yeah. was alive and then brings them to heaven. Yeah, it's like, he, oh, yeah. he takes everyone. Sorry about person. that. Why, <laughs> why is that why is that even part of the Bible mythos? That's just that's just overly complicated. It's just like it's, it's just, just just like thank you, Noah. For Dude, your, I believe in thank, this shit. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Noah, for your no, great no, service. You're gonna go to limbo though. Going to where? <laughs> limbo. You're, like you, you're not going to heaven, but you're not going to hell. It's basically what limbo is. I have to have a son in like the next hundred years. You gotta give me some time. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a son in like the next like couple hundred years. So you're just gonna have to wait around there. That's not true. I don't know where you're getting this. Straight from the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically it. So when I, when my hat. When I have my son, and since I'm all knowing, I know he's gonna die when he's like twenty, when I, when he's like thirty, twenty something. Uh, when he when he ascends to heaven in like three days after he dies, uh, that's when you get to go to heaven. Yeah. Same same with Moses. Hundred years and then some. Yeah, basically. So you know, you just have, you just have to wait there. You know, there's some other people there. You know, there's, there's Moses and there's there's that one philosopher and that other philosopher. Yeah, there's a couple philosophers down there. You know, you there's the guy that's Julius Caesar. The guy who died. So so I like to think about things. First guy who died down there. Hey. Okay. Yeah. So, the first guy who killed son guy. Why? Hey. <laughs> like, that, kind of like that one scene in Despicable Me. This is the first guy who ever died. He's down there. Hey. 
And then there's like 12 different kinds of angels, half of them being completely worthless because they just sit around being pretty. And you have like the one angel that like sits in front of garden, the Garden of Eden all day and just like stabs things that come close. I want to hide all the That sounds like the best job ever. You know what? That like literally sounds like the best job ever. Like imagine you're like a seven, like a several hundred foot tall human with wings and you have a big giant fire sword That's and me. your only job is to poke things that come near you. That's me. That's your that would be the best job. That's like me. imagine. Like that. Ima just imagine. Imagine, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I'm here for the job interview. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, come on in. Okay, so uh, yeah, what skill do you things. have at shooting things? So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I go to the range every now and then because oh, this is in America, stick. you know. This is like, I, car I carry a big America. poking <laughs> stick around, you know. And, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, first of all, you're hired because you don't really need any experience. So what you need to do is you just need to stand here by the door for the for the rest of eternity. And if anything, and I mean any living creature, comes close to this door, just like that. Get, you know, like unless unless you know, it's, it's ordained by God. Unless unless I give the say so, you just you know just you just kind of you just kind of take grab out it by your, its little neck and just kind of. You, know. you take your giant laser sword and you just kind of like you, you, you know yeah that, take, your, take your big poke and stick you know, just, you know. and then, and and then, then, then five days later a guy comes up hi we've been trying to reach you but your car is extended warranty <laughs> and you know every once in a while like a big snake comes up and what then he's gotta kill the snake right now it reminds me of just a really obscure world world border instead of just like border it's just something that kills you oh yeah technically <laughs> you're in like the middle of Saudi Arabia I think so. I yeah <laughs> Speaking of the Bible, um, I'm the only one here is Christian, by the way, right? I'm Christian. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I study I'm Christianity, I don't practice Christianity. It's that is, I respect everyone at this table. Uh, anyway, uh, as, I was, not need to as I was Christian saying, what if, what if Bible fan fiction exists? It does. Don it does. Dante's Inferno is. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, exa kind that's of literally is. what Dante's Inferno it, it is. It really, really is. Huh? Good point. There's probably fair for everything. Do you know what's another odd part of Saving the Life? Sure. The Leviathan. The I love that. So thing. basically, the Leviathan is a lot of things. The That's Leviathan is the god of the sea or the ruler of the oceans. Oh, I love that. It's guy. also the embodiment of the, of the uh, deadly sin envy. It's in uh, every Abrahamic religion. It huh. fights uh, this giant elephant like hippo creature called the Behemoth. Very a, a lot. Those are SCPs. It's. What? Yeah. They are? Yeah, they're yeah. both SCPs. They're both uh, SCPs and they fight each other and sometimes they shrink down. One of them is a big crab and one of them isn't. Okay, but <laughs> like, usually rain. the Leviathan is depicted as a giant sea serpent. <laughs> yeah, that's and the, and the Behemoth is usually an elephant hippo oh, man, hippo, yeah. Moose hybrid. It's very odd. Uh, Ella, uh, Ella Hippo Moose. <laughs> Ella Hippo Moose. Ella Hippo Moose. And usually what happens... See, but the odd thing about the Leviathan is the Leviathan Poking dies on. more than three yeah. times. Eraser yeah. Man. The, the Leviathan is one of the few characters in Christian folklore that actually dies multiple times. Calendar Man. God kills him at the start of creation. You know the Condiment King. Who? The God kills the Leviathan near the start of creation to get rid of the fear in man. Uh... -huh. uh the Leviathan gets killed by the Behemoth, but also kills the Behemoth, and then both of them come back to life during Judgment Day and fight again, killing everyone on Earth. Um, and then oh, they like also the Rapture. Die. I love yeah, this. Yeah, they're a part of the Rapture. Oh. So like, after the Four Horsemen come and like you know bring their plagues, then apparently the Leviathan rises out of the sea and the big old fucking elephant hippo moose. Uh, comes out of the fucking earth and then they start fighting and then they kill and eat a bunch of people. I swear to God, some oh. people are Christian just to believe in hell. No, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, and then, and then there's other that. folk I, I, I swear to God, there are some people on this world, world who believe in the Christianity just to believe in hell. I always <laughs> note, I'm Christian, so I know I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> are you really? Though? Can you save yeah. me a spot? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you die before me, can you save me a spot in hell? So, in fact, the biggest every time we laugh, we peek the mic. Ah. That's, ah. Kind of, that's funny, I think. <laughs> Another <laughs> fun fact. Uh, the Leviathan <laughs> is one of the few figures, besides, like the Leviathan is one of the few uh, figures from Christian mythology that also extends over into... Um, Muslim beliefs and Islamic beliefs. Because ah. the behemoth and the Leviathan... Isn't Islam a, an Abrahamic religion? 
much. Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between Muslim and Islam? What's the well, difference? basically, I know that I know the difference between being Jewish and being imagine, Christian. Imagine Judaism oh, yeah. without oh. the fucky wucky Islam. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but ignore ignore us. We're um, he's trying to describe something. It's 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 complicated. Without the icky ickies, (laughs) ickies. Without the complexities, I don't understand. Without the complexities of human. Without the icky stickies, so that's Islam. Really? Pretty much. Shit. I don't get it. Wait, wait, wait. Which one was it where they worship a big cube? The, oh, that's Mecca. Fortnite. No. They, go to Mecca, they, they commit a pilgrimage to Mecca, or they point towards Mecca. Yeah, what one is that? Yeah. That's, that's, uh, it, that is that's in Saudi Arabia. That's, those are the... Uh, that's, that's, no, it isn't, uh, right? Flying Spaghetti Monster. That's a rainbow. I know they use the Quran. Uh, yeah. What? No! Uh, apparently that's supposed to be just I'm just going to... Because it's so recorded. Yes. Because big Q. Well, I just kind of started going off about Christianity. Hence the tangent. The reason why the guy was murdering him. The Kaaba. Uh, so uh, he had a power too, right? Okay. But his power is that he could see threads above people's heads. And if he cut the thread, it would make his life easier. No, it's. Okay, yeah. Do it. oh it's Islam. I was going to say, I thought okay, it was yeah. Islam. Islam is pretty much hobby. Judaism with different fucky wuckies. <laughs> wait, wait, so it's basically so. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna thing, look up all the Abrahamic religions, so I'm not racist. Is, so wait, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity are basically the same thing, but one has Jesus, one has Big Q, and one has Moses. Welcome to religion class. Yeah, pretty much. Are you in religion class? They're all, they're all pretty much the yeah. exact same. Yeah, uh, Judaism, Christianity, except, and Islam. Except yeah. they still hate each other because why not? No, okay, they're all basically the exact same thing. It's just they believe in different messiahs. Right? Oh, wait. Christianity, because that's kind of how it was way back when. If you believed it, if you by the thought, way, I don't, I don't think Jesus is real. Sure, he came back three days after dying. By the I way, I don't think he's real. Muslim, I'm, I'm over here with Moses. Moses Mus- is my man. Moses. Okay. Yes. Muslim is the title given to an Islamic person. Oh. Yeah. So wait. Okay, I get it, yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah, it's like a, a Jew or a Christian. Sith religion steals from each other. What was the first mythology? Uh, not, not Norse. <laughs> not known at all, actually. Not Norse, not Greece. Like I know. Canadian. Japanese. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Egypt. It, it, unironically, it might have been yeah. native yeah. What about Egypt? like Druids. Egyptian mythology? Probably. Not really, but maybe. No. Well, well, like, Egyptian they existed folk. around the same time. Egyptians didn't Chinese worship gods at first. No. They just worshipped no. animals. No. Chinese. So, like, animals. if you count... Like animals cats. as gods, yeah. yeah, like cats, namely cats, crocodiles. No, not and cats. Elephants. I hate that movie. <laughs> I love that movie. movie. So I good. love. Them. I know. They're like I'm yeah, lying. like furry. I'm lying. Like furry. Greek. The Greek, Greek is such a great game, right? The Egyptians it is so loved good. cats, birds, and crocodiles so much is that they have multiple otherwise. gods. Does everyone look up when four is invented? When what was invented? Someone looked up when was floor invented and they know the exact date for some reason. <laughs> when was <laughs> floor invented? Oh, that, that John's back that. It's like what? 3000 back- back- BC. Uh, they're doing it. Oh, yes, the floor right. was something. <laughs> Floor was invented exactly. Oh, next time I can I can tell you all about Gustav. How did people live before that? No, nope. I don't know. Gustav. They, 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 still the they didn't. They just stay on it's the it's a thing that I've researched <laughs> for many days. But that it wasn't for next around time. until eight thousand BC. It's something to do <laughs> with <laughs> Africa. <laughs> people was before eight thousand BC would just stand on the roof. So, so, that, I, so everybody, that's what everybody, I said. When was floor invented? It wasn't. Around. So it was just like you know. <laughs> You know, you know what, Dunk? I'm really tired of sleeping on the ground. <laughs> Let's call it floor. Let's make floor. <laughs> Conk, I have an idea. What is it, Gunk? We take all the wood and we, we made. Push it somewhere. <laughs> we take all the wood we made the walls and roof with, but we put it on the ground. Gunk, you're a genius. Thank you. Therefore, oh, Gunk. Gunk, was, um, Gunk. And then two minutes later, Gunk uh, got uh, too many splinters on his feet and died of uh, blood loss. And then, yeah, and then, then, then Gunk probably got like tuberculosis and died or something. <laughs> From what? And then, and then yeah, Gunk was killed by a giant cave bear. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the mammoths. 
the oh, mammoths. Oh, no, everyone loves the mammoths. Yeah, I love the mammoths. Not in Pokemon. They, not in Pokemon. <laughs> not Here's the thing. Pokemon. We take the mammoth fur and we call it rug. 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 <laughs> and we I take call, the whole I call it rug. We call it Primer fur. Rug. <laughs> Floor fur. <laughs> Floor has fur. Call it rug. Rhyme with rug. Good idea, yeah. girl. Early, Every early human civilization true. is fascinating. It's great. Yeah. I know. Namely, I namely the AFK interactions pop. humans had with animals. Early humans, I love how early I, humans I, are like watching a, a group of special needs kids. <laughs> canceled. 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 We're gonna get canceled. Stop recording now. Stop. We're gonna get canceled at Twitch.com. Twitch. Twitch. What? It's Twitch.tv. <laughs> no. First of all, it's Twitch.tv, and how are we gonna get canceled on Twitch? We don't even have a tangent live stream. Yeah, it's only Let's do a tangent Twitter space. Point, <laughs> oh my, back. I would end in like negative like scoliosis. But if you look up when was school invented, it used to say like 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in school before there was school. Look up uh, when was school invented and then go to images. Felt when Why was images? school invented? Well, well, because there will be yeah. screenshots there. No, that's always there. Oh, that's Felt, awesome. I gotta ask you something. Um, are, when are we gonna start like a Discord server for all of us? We did. Uh, he's just not how, in it. <laughs> how do I? How do he's even in it? How do well, I I'm get in, in it? it? Wildfire. Oh, uh, what's your Discord? I have a Discord uh, server. French. <laughs> Friend. Invite him. <laughs> Invite me, Fry, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Invite him, my lackey. Beige. Yeah, I'll fucking lackey oh, you. We have to prepare an outro, oh. guys. What the That's fuck? Beige. No, at, outros are for losers. Okay. Outros. Okay. okay. Oh. Outros. We shut the fuck up, and then we let the bell ring. Yeah, so we have been doing, but yeah, we always say something. It's in like a minute. Why are you waiting? <laughs> Shut up, you're stupid, and I hate you. And I hate you. <laughs> Everyone, fermez la bouche. We go now. Homo. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 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 <laughs>